have just had a powerful word of God which has fed to our souls. And I just want to tell you, Your Excellency, the President, as a church, we are still standing firm and saying, this government is our government. And we are going to pray for it. We prayed, we fasted, and many people keep asking us why we continue to pray. And we continue to confirm to them what is birthed of prayer must be sustained and grown and sustained by prayer. And we are thankful because we see a president who fears the Lord. And one of the things that the Lord Jehovah's God says in Psalm 25, verse 12 to 14, he says, who is that man that fears the Lord? Because that man will be able to live in prosperity all his life and not only him, even his descendants will inherit the earth. And above that, the secret of God will be revealed to that man. And we are thanking God as we stand in this state lodge, Sagana. When we were praying, many people thought it was a joke. But God has answered the prayer of the faithful. We have a great president who is working and as I've been asked to pray for those who are in, in drug and substance abuse, I want to stand here and really thank you, Your Excellency, for the support and the fight that you have put for those ones who are selling drugs, those who are causing our children to be in alcohol. I can tell you the church is standing with you and we have decided from everywhere in the 47 counties we are going to fight with these drug monies until we bring our children back to their dreams and validate them so that our children can become economic drivers. There is nothing like when the entire young generation it is packed in the streets and in the gutter while the economy is going down. 